Well, listen, this, this is a wonderful opportunity for me to uh, meet with my full cabinet for the first time since uh, the election took place. Uh, the primary purpose from my perspective is to say thank you, uh, because uh, everybody here uh, in their respective agencies has done a remarkable job uh, on behalf of the American people uh, you know, across the board uh, on uh, a wide range of issues. Uh, they've always prioritized how do we make sure that we have a strong middle class, how do we grow our economy, how do we put people back to work, and how do we keep the American people safe uh, and continue to extend our uh, influence and, and our ideals around the world. And uh, I could not have a better collection of people, uh, many of whom have stayed here uh, uh, throughout my first term. I think we've had as little turnover uh, as any president uh, during the course of a first term. And the reason is because everybody's done such a remarkable job. So uh, my main purpose is to say thank you to them, uh, but also to remind them we, we've got a lot of work to do. Uh, there are going to be a few specific issues that we spend a lot of time on. Uh, one in particular that uh, uh, I should note is that uh, the devastating impact of Hurricane Sandy uh, is still being felt by families all across uh, New York, New Jersey, uh, parts of Connecticut. Uh, we are very pleased that uh, under the leadership initially of Janet Napolitano and FEMA, but now uh, Sean Donovan, who's heading up a task force, uh, we're focusing uh, not only on recovery, but now on rebuilding and making sure those communities come back stronger than ever and people get the help that they need. Uh, so that'll be an important topic because uh, it's really going to be of interagency concern. The second thing that we'll be talking about, obviously, is what's on the minds of uh, a lot of American families across the country, and that is making sure that we get this fiscal cliff dealt with uh, and that middle class taxes don't go up. Uh, I already spoke extensively about that today. Uh, I'll just repeat. There is no reason why taxes on middle class families should go up. It would be bad for the economy. It would be bad for those families. In fact, it would be bad for the world economy. Uh, and so I think it's very important that we get that resolved. And uh, I am very open to a fair and balanced approach uh, to reduce our deficit and provide the kind of certainty that businesses and consumers need uh, so that we can keep this recovery going. Uh, and obviously, uh, we'll be spending some time talking about national security issues as well. Uh, but I just want to say thank you uh, to this extraordinary cabinet for uh, a job well done. Uh, and I uh, will take this opportunity to uh, publicly embarrass uh, two members of the cabinet whose birthdays are either today or tomorrow. Uh, Rick Shinseki, uh, Department of Veterans Affairs, happy birthday to you. That is actually today. Janet Napolitano's birthday is tomorrow. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you. We want to get back to work.